and welcome back to the 525th Expeditionary Military Intelligence Brigade YouTube channel. It's Black History Month, and we're continuing with our episodes on African Americans and their roles in human military intelligence gathering throughout American history. Today's episode is on Harriet Tubman, who utilized her connections on the Underground Railroad to help her collect human intelligence during the Civil War, and she also became one of the first women in American military history to lead a raid. This is her story. Born in 1825 on the eastern shore of Maryland, Harriet Tubman escaped slavery in 1849. Harriet Tubman arrived in Philadelphia and soon launched an illustrious career as a member of the Underground Railroad. Tubman was deemed the great emancipator, leading scores of escaping African Americans to freedom, often all the way to Canada. She built up a network of supporters and admirers. They created a network that would soon make her a very valuable information collection asset during the upcoming Civil War. After the start of the Civil War, Tubman arrived at camps near Fort Monroe, Virginia. The large fort and nearby tent city of troops soon became a major magnet for escaped slaves. Tubman eventually made her way to South Carolina to work in the Department of the South, a Union Army command. Tubman spent 10 months as a nurse ministering to the sick, and by early 1863 she was ready for a more active role. She was given the authority to line up a roster of scouts to infiltrate and map out the interior region of South Carolina. Her closely knit band became an official scouting service for the Department of the South. Tubman was also the first woman to lead an armed military operation in the United States in what is known as the Combahee Ferry Raid. Tubman partnered with Colonel James Montgomery. Together, the two planned a raid along the Combahee River involving about 500 men to rescue enslaved people, recruit freedmen into the Union Army, and obliterate some of the wealthiest rice plantations in the region. The night of June 1, 1863, Tubman and Montgomery on federal gunboats set out towards the Combahee River. Around 2.30 a.m. on June the 2nd, Montgomery and Tubman split up along the river to conduct different raids. Tubman led 150 men on towards the fugitives. Tubman, later commenting on the raid, said once a signal was given, she saw slaves running everywhere, with women carrying babies, crying children, squealing pigs, chickens, and pots of rice. Rebels tried chasing down the slaves, firing their guns on them. More than 700 escaped slavery and made it onto the gunboats. Troops also disembarked near Fields Point, torching plantations, fields, mills, warehouses, and mansions, causing a humiliating defeat for the Confederacy including loss of a pontoon bridge shot to pieces by the gunboats. After the raid, Harriet Tubman continued to pass along information to the Union and also nursed to wounded soldiers throughout the rest of the war. Once the war was over, Harriet Tubman continued to dedicate herself to political causes, eventually passing away in March of 1913. Harriet Tubman was an extraordinary profile and courage during the Civil War as her efforts at military intelligence collection directly impacted Union operations in a positive way. Join us next week as we tell the story of Mary Tuvestri, a woman who acted as a spy and helped impact one of the most influential naval battles of the Civil War. Please keep tuning into the channel, follow us and like us, and subscribe as well. I'm Captain Ryan Miller of the 525th Expeditionary Military Intelligence Brigade, and please keep tuning in.